Today at Starbase Edwards, let's make our own lava lamps at home. How does that work? I'll show you how. First, you'll need the water bottle from your science kit that's already filled with vegetable oil. Note that in the bottom of the bottle, there is food coloring. Next, we'll need the packet of Alka-Seltzer tablets, which should also be in your science kit. We'll also need some water. You'll also need some kind of eye protection. Goggles like this are nice, but if you don't have them, you can also use sunglasses or regular glasses. Start by removing the cap from the bottle. You'll want to keep the cap removed for the rest of the experiment. Now, you want to pour the water up to the fill line. As you pour the water in, you can see that the food coloring is becoming more visible. This is because the food coloring is able to dissolve into the water, but is not able to dissolve into the vegetable oil. And that's about enough water. You will now need the Alka-Seltzer tablets. Go ahead and open it up. Now, break the tablet in half. Drop one of the halves into the water bottle. Let's see what happens. As you can see, there are globules of blue liquid rising up from the bottom and then dropping back down. This is because the gas being released from the dissolving Alka-Seltzer tablet helps make the water less dense. Because it is less dense, it is able to float upward through the vegetable oil. Once it reaches the top, the gas exits the water and is now denser than the vegetable oil again, so it sinks back down. Note that, in the kind of lava lamp you'd see in a store, the globs are made of hot wax instead of water and food coloring. Once the reaction begins to wind down, add another piece of Alka-Seltzer tablet. Repeat this every so often until you're out of Alka-Seltzer tablets. Congratulations! You have demonstrated the principles of density and buoyancy, all while putting on a great show, all within your own home.